Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie Ega, released in the year 2012. In the opening scene, we are introduced to a rich and powerful industrialist named Sudeep. He is practicing shooting a firearm in a training center. Sudeep doesn't miss a single shot, impressing everyone around him. Amidst the training session, his business partner and friend Aditya approaches him. The two have to attend an important business meeting in a few minutes, but Sudeep is entirely oblivious to it. Aditya asks him to be more responsible, considering their client is hard to please, but Sudeep only ignores him. Instead, he approaches a young woman on the other side of the field and seductively teaches her to fire a shot. Somewhere else, a young miniature artist named Bindu builds a tiny heart but is not satisfied with the work. When the power goes out, she moves her setup by the side of the window and tries to use the moonlight to finish the mini sculpture. Nani is Bindu's next door neighbor who has had a crush on her for the past two years. Bindu hardly ever acknowledges him, but the guy is persistent to someday make her fall in love with him. He sees her struggling to work because of the darkness, so he builds a makeshift light bulb using torchlight and aluminum foil. She happily completes the sculpture thanks to him. However, after she is done, she simply closes her window and goes to sleep. Nani's friend calls her rude for not even thanking him. But smitten in love, Nani claims that she closed the window to help him because if she hadn't, he would have waited for her the entire night. The following day, Sudeep holds an exclusive party celebrating the third anniversary of his company. One of his clients who has been giving him a hard time recently gives him a file as a gift. Aditya is surprised as to how the guy agreed to sign the papers, but his doubts turn into surprise when he notices that the client's wife is the woman who Sudeep had seduced back in the firearm training center. Sudeep has managed to close a deal with a client using his wife. Following that, the business partners go to the bar to get a drink and celebrate the success. As they talk, we find out that the source of Sudeep's wealth is his late wife, who he killed a few years ago. Since then, he has taken over her company and has been running it as his own. Apart from being a miniature artist, Bindu also runs an NGO called Project 551 that promotes children's education. She is at the Project 551 office preparing to buy books for unprivileged children, but the organization is low on funding. Someone suggests Bindu arrange a meeting with Sudeep because his company is looking to support a non-profit organization. When she is in his office, Sudeep gets a glimpse of her and is instantly attracted by her beauty. She explains to him about the charitable deeds of her organization, but he is too distracted checking her out. At the end of the meeting, Sudeep hands her a check of 15 lakhs rupees, which takes Bindu by surprise. She thanks him in gratitude, unknown to his true intentions. A few days later, they distribute books and stationery to the unprivileged students in their neighborhood. After the program, Sudeep asks Bindu to join him for lunch in a fancy restaurant. When they are ready to order, Bindu gets a text from Nani who compliments her looks. She skims around and sees him watching her from the other side of the restaurant. Bindu cannot get her eyes off him and ignores Sudeep entirely. The man notices her watching someone else, which hurts his ego. After the meal, Sudeep drives her home, but she stops him midway saying that she has to shop for groceries. After she walks away, Sudeep follows her and sees that she is together with Nani. He is enraged with anger and jealousy. No woman has ever ignored him like that, so he makes it his mission to separate Bindu and Nani. One night, Bindu loses track of time and works late. When it is time for her to return home, she is too scared to walk alone. So, she sends Nani a blank text knowing that he will take it as a sign and come to her. He gets the text and, as predicted, rushes to her. The two walk home in silence. However, after Bindu walks inside, a white van drives by and the people inside kidnap Nani. They are thugs appointed by Sudeep to get rid of Nani from Bindu's life. They take him to an abandoned house and beat him to a pulp. Sudeep also arrives there and hits him repeatedly. When Nani finds out that Sudeep is hitting him for Bindu, he claims that anyone who tries to harm Bindu will die at his hands. This angers Sudeep even more, so he beats the guy to death. Right after, Bindu calls Nani to tell him that she loves him, but it is too late. A while later, Nani's corpse glows blue. The light transfers from his body to a fly's egg nearby. In the morning, his body is found in the middle of the road and the corrupt policemen declare it a case of an accident. 
Bindu witnesses the corpse being taken away in an ambulance and is devastated. Ten days after the incident, the egg that was struck by the strange light hatches, giving birth to a baby fly. The fly is actually Nani reborn as an animal to take revenge on his killer. At first, he doesn't remember his past life and tries to fly away, but his wings are stuck to his body. He is almost killed by flowing water when he finally gets his wings out and soars into the air. Following that, Nani explores his new life amazed by floating bubbles and kids running around. He also starts to play with the bubbles, popping them as they float. After getting stuck on a cricket ball, Nani lands on a half-eaten apple. Soon, he is chased by a bird, and at last, he finally enters a house. There, a human accidentally drowns him in a mug full of water. The fly notices that the man holding the glass is Sue Deep. When he gets a look at his face, the fly suddenly remembers his past life. Enraged by the revelation, he flies out of the drink and attacks his killer. But he soon realizes that now he isn't a human anymore, he can barely cause him any harm. With a swat of the hand, Sudeep sends Nani flying to the ground. Suddenly, he remembers Bindu and rushes to her house. When he finally sees her, he is overwhelmed with emotions. He tries to get her attention, but since he is only a tiny fly, Bindu doesn't acknowledge him. She then talks to her sister-in-law about Nani and claims that she misses him dearly. Hearing this, the fly is determined to get her attention. Later that day, she is in her office when Sudeep comes to meet her. He expresses his sympathies with Nani's death and tries to get closer to her. The fly gets inside his ear to get him away, trying to protect Bindu even now. In the following scene, Sudeep gets inside a wooden steam bath. After his limbs are bound, the fly gets inside his ears and makes his move. The box also moves, making Sudeep almost run into a sharp shower handle. Trying to kill the fly, he runs outside naked, making a fool out of himself in front of his business partners and clients. Later, Sudeep is in the office when he offers Bindu to come with him to Delhi for the welfare of their organization. They decide to leave the following day. Hence, to keep them from going, the fly does not let Sudeep sleep peacefully at night. Hours pass, but he is troubled by the fly so much that he doesn't fall asleep even for a second. At last, Sudeep wraps himself with the bedsheet and sleeps, but only for some minutes. Later, Bindu calls him and tells him that they have to board the flight in half an hour. He hurries to the airport, but Nani joins him as well. At first, the fly bothers the traffic police, making him move his hand in random directions and creating a traffic jam. When Sudeep changes cars, it attacks his eye, causing him to get into an accident. As Sudeep is stuck in the car seat, the fly writes, I will kill you on the glass with dust. After the man is saved, he is paranoid that the fly will come for him. He has fly spray in his hands at all times to be safe. People around him think he has gone insane, but Sudeep stays his ground. Bindu comes to meet him, which enrages the fly. When he tries to attack Sudeep again, Bindu sprays him with the fly repellent. He falls off the window and lands on a bush. He is about to die when the water sprinkler starts and washes off the toxin on his body. Sudeep goes to an entomologist to ask if flies can take revenge. The doctor advises him to take a rest, believing that he is just being delusional. Sudeep still doesn't believe anyone and goes to the dumping ground where his car was brought after the wreckage. There, he meets a strange man who tells him that his wealth is about to burn. Sudeep ignores him and looks around the wreckage to find a shredded glass that says kill. He is now sure that the fly was indeed trying to kill. The next day, Nani sees Bindu crying, reminiscing about his death. He uses the teardrops on the table to write her a message. Bindu is beyond surprised when she reads it. She holds him in her palm and asks if he is really Nani. The fly nods his head, confirming that he has been reborn. Following that, the fly manages to communicate that Sudeep killed him to get closer to her. Bindu freezes in shock. She believes the fly and promises to help him take revenge on Sudeep. Being a miniature artist helps their cause because Bindu creates tiny glasses for the fly to save him from fly repellent sprays. Sudeep makes his bodyguards look for the fly, but none of them are successful. He also soon realizes that the repellents do not work on his enemy. He tries several other ways to kill it, from fly baits to fly swatters, but none of them work. 
Nani manages to light his bed on fire. He makes him drink fly bait and never lets him sleep at night, but he has to do something extraordinary to actually kill him. So, he decides to fill a working cannon display with gunpowder and light it at the right time to kill the man eventually. For the next few days, Bindu fills a tiny bucket of gunpowder for Nani that he drops to the cannon. They do this repeatedly and completely fill the cannon, but when a man puts tissue paper into the cannon's muzzle, the plan fails. The next day, Sudeep renovates his house with insect-proof glasses and scanners to prevent the fly from coming in. Because of this, Bindu has to go to Sudeep's house personally and let Nani in. Sudeep tries to touch her inappropriately, but the fly uses its modified claws to dig into his skin and make him retreat. The following day, Sudeep has a very important meeting with investors who are planning to fund his upcoming project. But because of his lack of sleep and fear of flies, he starts to blabber about fly repellent sprays in the middle of the presentation. Moreover, Nani lands on an investor's head, making Sudeep dump a pot on him. Because of the disastrous meeting, they refuse to fund the project, making Sudeep and his company go into debt. Following that, the income tax officers are informed about all the black money that Sudeep has hidden in the office. He quickly tries to get the money out to dispatch it somewhere else, but because of the fly, his money is burnt to ashes, leaving him almost penniless. Just then, Sudeep remembers the man he had met at the dumping site who had told him that his wealth will burn soon. He goes looking for him and finds out that the man is an expert in black magic named Tantra. With Tantra's help, Sudeep finds out that the fly is Nani, who has been reborn to take revenge. They perform a ritual and create two evil birds for them to catch Nani. The birds chase the fly around the house, but he manages to kill both of them. The glass doors lock and the house is filled with smoke. Sudeep and Tantra are stuck in the house but are later saved by Aditya. On watching the CCTV footage, Sudeep finds out that Bindu was the one who let the fly in. Now that he knows their secret, he decides to use her to kill the fly. He takes her hostage and calls for Nani to come out. To save Bindu, Nani gives in and appears before Sudeep. In an ensuing fight, Bindu manages to hide away while the fly distracts Sudeep. He picks up a needle and launches it towards Sudeep's eye, but using a magnet, Sudeep manages to finally trap him. He then finds Bindu hiding in a corner and holds her hostage again. Following that, he cuts off the fly's wing while mocking both of them. Just then, Nani notices that the paper ball blocking the cannon has fallen out, meaning that it can fire again. With his last strength, the fly coats himself with gunpowder and jumps through the flame of a burning match and into the previously loaded cannon. The projectile passes through Su Deep, killing him at last. It also hits an oxygen cylinder, causing a fierce explosion in which his entire house burns down. In the last scene, we see Bindu driving to work when a man cat calls her. Nani, who has again been reborn as a fly, attacks him with a needle and announces his return. That was all from the video, I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.